I go, no, don't, don't. But he's an accountant, so I'm just like, don't audit me. And, he, and, he, yeah. and he's like, you owe me more taxes. <laughs> Bend over. I didn't yeah. keep any of my receipts. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your W-9? He goes, your car didn't depreciate that much. Now I'm going to depreciate your ass. Get over. I'm about to put miles on it. Oh, this gosh. ass is undervalued. Yeah. <laughs> don't bring politics into our sex life. <laughs> so, um, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. to drag out horse. No. Yeah. So, wait, what was what was your question about Dean? You said we have to dive in, but I think we just did. You just I just can't it? believe you three live together. Right. Like, do, okay, it feels like you're. I just can't believe one. Well, my husband you put moved up? to Minneapolis. It's situational. Hold on. My husband moved to Minneapolis. Our mortgage was like forty five hundred a month. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. For here. Uh huh. Because well, we only put we didn't put twenty percent down, and then our taxes went up double. Now, when you say husband, is this kind? Is this like a a funny bit? So. and and I I love listen I, it's 2024. Um, I Who's just feel and you're like and I don't really believe in gay marriage. No no no. And you say like God's husband. You mean through God? I'm saying like listen, a bit like listen. I know the Pope story. You're <laughs> Um, but maybe we're not for the Pope no more, you know? No. Um, it's just, the Pope's giving a little bit of a desperado now. And, yeah. uh, no, it's less the gay that I'm confused about with this situation uh-huh. and more the marriage because he's in Minneapolis and yeah. you're in Texas. Right. Is it temporary? The the marriage? Because <laughs> he's not, you guys aren't living. We were living together. He just moved up there. Are you going up there? I'm not moving to business. Minneapolis. Guys, am I crazy? <laughs> or, this is an insane thing that I'm asking. Was, but, I no, like I'm not. People. You want me to move to Minneapolis? Well, why did he move to Minneapolis? For a job. But he's gonna come back. He might. Yeah, probably. There's like a, a probably like, it's we'll either gonna work out or not. I just don't know. If it's like, why? Why worry now if I don't know what's gonna happen? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I understand. It either will work out or it won't. Have you ever done long dist? <laughs> I'm doing long distance right now. Well, I, and I'm crazy. Oh, and I'm judgment. <laughs> what do you mean you live in different places? She's in a long distance relationship. <laughs> what you? Okay, so you were projecting. Where and where is he? He's in Atlanta. Oh yeah. Yeah, with our child, oh, Mister. It's a mix. Um, pup, dog. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm just. But yeah, not, I took, don't have a he, ring on he it. Took and we the dog up there too. Yeah, oh. he should. We do, We have two mortgages, and we actually have to sell the house. I would actually have a ring. We have to sell both mortgage. houses. See that? See this is, at this point, a marriage just felt like. Is your boyfriend hot as shit? Um, no. He's ugly. You know, I figured <laughs> it out. <laughs> You're one no, of they're girls. not. And I figured out what it was. I don't. I don't date. Podcast. I never have date no. Did I you can't. Date, like, big guys. Um, uh, no. Literally, my my only requirement is breath. What you have breath in your lungs. Oh, okay. If you've seen the very <laughs> variants of guys that I've dated, you'd be like, oh, you have no type. I am attracted to a good time. Whoa. So so usually they're not. That, that makes looking. so much more sense while yeah. you're hanging out with separately Laser and Dean. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, lo- they are a good time. They're such oh, a, they're yeah. a good time. I love a f- I love a good time. And I think what it was is I grew up um, like around country club people, mm-hmm. and then I went. I was like in a sorority at an SEC school at South Carolina. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, and I was kind of the a little Curling bit of a wacko girl. Years. Yes, yeah. But I was the weird one that. But I was trying to fit in with all the like uh, khaki wearing, polo wearing boys. And then I, ju- and I never really fit in. So I just kind of, well, you got too drunk. I got and too drunk. There. And I was like, <laughs> and you were well, annoying there. I was like, why don't you want to have a conversation with me? <laughs> 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 yeah, I know my eyes aren't looking at you. <laughs> They're looking at nothing. They're looking in the back of my head. Why can't why I will fit you look? in here? Right. Why will you also look in the back of my brain with me? Uh, and then I just realized like, I was around like, I was around like douchebag good looking guys and I think I just wrote, wrote it off and yeah. I'd rather a good time silly billy looking guy. Yeah. yeah. And does your boyfriend know you feel this way that he's not attractive? I, <laughs> you know what? 
Um, I'd love to see a peck. I think um, cuz I The writing's in the mirror. <laughs> you know what I mean? I told my husband that once. I go, what? I thought I was being really really nice and what? I w- I said Babe, I'm so happy I'm not attracted to you for your looks so that when we grow old together, I'll still love you. And that he he didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, I, that is I mean, but he's got to know, right? You're you're definitely the beauty in the relationship. Oh, look at him. I mean, he, every, yeah, he's every gorgeous. room he walks in, it's scary. Yeah. He, he, he knows that I'm very attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But you also have a personality that's so good. You can't have two hotties, though. You can't have two hotties in a relationship. Like, you can if for a good fling, but it's not going to be forever. It, it yeah. reminds me of those videos of gay sex where it's like a really hot like, young guy and then like some like fat old man jerking him off. You ever see those? Yeah. No. <laughs> is it? Wait, is your, yeah, that was is your, is your really porn good. category Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's always like slow teasing hand jobs. <laughs> it's just like it's just like a beautiful man shaving another back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, of, it's a, of a burly oh, no, 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 man. No, 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 no. I think the ugly people keep their clothes on, but um. Yeah. <laughs> I actually will not watch porn if both of them are attractive. Why is it just not believable? Because I don't, I'm like, well, which one am I? Well, it is better to have a hot bottom. <laughs> and I like a hot top. I would, I, oh, you know what's so sad? Oh, you like, I, I think when the bottom's ugly, it's like, this is so sad. Yeah. Why? Because is the bottom, um, you're already taking it. No, because I feel like he's like just taking no. it whatever he can <laughs> oh, we get. Don't, we don't look downly on people who take it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So back I to the guess, Pope. I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm a bit of a taker in that sense yeah. of the word. Is it, okay, the, why is it sad that the bottom is an uggo? Because it's like I think the bottom is like I guess I guess traditionally the more feminine. It's not even feminine, but like what is it? It's like you would think that's like the prize, the beauty, the prize jewel, the prize jewel, the thing that it's getting uh, fucked. You know what I mean? So for it to be ugly and the top to be hot, it's kind of like uh-oh. oh, they're taking advantage of. Oh, no, no, actually, no, no, this actually, gay. I don't feel the same way. You don't have that in gay. gay. <laughs> There's no woman to victimize, so we're just having fun. <laughs> that's such a good point. It is. Yeah. That, that's why we have sex with strangers from the internet, because it's like... There's no victims. No, because if one, if, I mean, when guys try to kill another man, that's just like a duel. <laughs> <laughs> that's just... Well, when a man kills a woman, that's a crime. You know what that's I mean? a crime. Oh my God, that's so, yeah, that's just like a fun game we play. Yeah. That's so funny because I didn't even know what you were talking about. It didn't even occur to me that there might be a victim. Yeah. Women. Oh my women gosh. Are, you guys have never, victim. you guys never play like... Like, uh, like victim in the like role play victim in the bedroom. Like, no, <laughs> go on, <laughs> no, stop. And then your ugly boyfriend's like, no, I will keep going. Yeah, I'm so he, lucky. I, I go, no, don't, don't, but he's an accountant, so I'm just like, don't audit me. And, and he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you owe me more taxes. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> Bend over. That's actually I, fun. I didn't yeah. keep any of my receipts. Yeah. Check under the pillow. Where's your W nine? Because your car didn't <laughs> depreciate that much. Now I'm gonna depreciate your ass. <laughs> Get over. I'm about to put miles on it. Oh, this gosh. ass is undervalued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring politics into our sex life. <laughs> yeah, so I love being a victim. Yeah, who doesn't? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of the best things, best feelings in the world. Emotionally, I love to be a so victim. So I actually like to feel like a gift. In sex, I think that that's where oh. our thing is the same. That's such a way of framing it. So you're like, oh, look at me. I'm your little flower. Yeah, like, no, no, well, not that. Oh. <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't say I would like to pretend I'm a child. Oh, you yeah, know, I didn't. Oh, I'm a little dandelion. Blow like, me. I like to feel like you're so lucky for this. <laughs> you're so lucky. Oh, I do like that. I like that out in the wild, in the streets. I like to be like, look look who you get to stand next to. <laughs> and he goes, your fever blister? And I go, yep. <laughs> Why do you, you keep calling dog. it that? A fever blister? Yeah. Is it this? Um, it's a cold sore, right? Yeah, I think it's the same thing as a fever blister. You know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like you were one of those badass girls who got like a piercing right here and then just recently took it out. Yeah. Is that what it is? I thought it kind of looked Ooh, like I, I got that to that and I kind of in your eyes, you were kind of like didn't like that I said that. No, I like it. Okay. I want it, I... 
I uh, I would like to get into a, a female fight soon. Have you a female fight? It sounds like because <laughs> because they'll actually fight back. Yeah, I want like I want yeah. Are I you want, one of those I girls want, that hits her boyfriend? No, I used to. Yeah. I don't, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like tell me I'm an abuser on the pod. <laughs> I don't anymore, and I sometimes still I do. Know, I know. I I mean, like I was like like in like middle school and a little bit of. Junior high. I, I definitely used to push girls into lockers because I didn't know my own strength. Yeah, and it was kind of you didn't know what to do. With I'm gonna put that on the uh, record right now because people are gonna come out with, against me. No, I, I, like, but also when you were that age, like you were like, oh my god, he just shoved me. He likes me. <laughs> no, I think everyone knew I was gay. And they're like, he's angry. Yeah. He's in the closet. <laughs> 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 you were in the closet, yeah. bitch. Yeah. 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 Slam. Yeah. Ball to the ground. I was like, uh oh. Look was, at me. <laughs> um. I wait. What was he? I had, what was I saying though? Um, About my feet. No. You like to feel like a gift. People stand next to you, and you sometimes hit your boyfriend. Oh no! I just want to get into a female fight. Oh, Sorry, yeah. going back to it. I just I want to know because I've started like weightlifting and and stuff, and I just I would love to know. Have you ever been in one? The thing that blows my mind is dudes talk about fighting like. Like when you guys are like, well, you know, and then it started, so I had to jump in, and it's like guys talk about fighting like. Um, like it's like, uh, they don't have an option to do it. Like well, if my friend, if another man doesn't give you an option, I, but it, but <laughs> guys are like, I fight. saw it from across the room. So, you know, I had to start or like, you know, this guy started mouthing off to no, guy The starting the fight, you do have a choice and that pro- person's the problem. But if your friend gets in a fight, no matter if they're the problem, I mean, don't have those friends if they're constantly doing that, but you go protect your friend. That's like... It's always blows my mind that guys talk about it like that. Like there, like there's no option. Like I'm like, you started a fight, you you go for it. But but you know, in girl world, like I'm sure you've snapped at another girl for saying something bad about one of your friends. Yeah, but I've never gotten to. I got my ass beat at a Kid Rock concert at a at a uh, <laughs> in an by amphitheater who? in in Cincinnati. Recently? Uh, no, I was in high school. Oh. Uh, they like. It was like muddy, you know, and we were like drunk in high school and like we had flip flops on. So like it'd get stuck in the mud and then we'd f- like try and take a step with our flip flop and the mud would fling everywhere. And these giant, I would say half human, half grizzly bears, females. <laughs> uh, took, I love those yeah, type of yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. Those, you know, they're just drunk. They're like, my oh, man loves it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they always get that like round stomach. They're like, mm-hmm, everyone wants. And you know what? They usually get fucked by hot men in small towns. A tiny hot men. Yeah. Itty bitty widow hot men. <laughs> yeah. The, and they, I remember they just like, they saw, our, they just grabbed our ponytails and pulled us to the ground. Like that And started movie. wailing on us. Yeah. And I, but now I think our about ponytails. it. ponytails. Our little tiny <laughs> ponytail. Our little. That is so funny. Yeah. And all of us had a ponytail at a Kid Rock concert. <laughs> like, I mean, I just, you just painted a picture. Yeah. This is a very question, specific were you person. and your friend, not that anyone deserves to be hit, were you and your friend being disrespectful at the Kid Rock concert? Because I used to go to Country Fest every single year with my beautiful best friend named Nissa. And she, they, listen, she's beautiful. She was 17 and a huge bitch. Yeah. And they'd sneak to the front and they got in front of these older women. And these women started talking shit, being like, you guys just push in front of us. And my hot friend turned around and she goes, that's because you're white trash. (laughs) (laughs) And the the older woman goes, what the fuck did you say to me? And my friend Nissa turns around and she goes, I said, you're white trash. Trash, <laughs> and that's how young pretty girls get their ass kicked at Kid Rock concerts. That's exactly. I want to yeah. do that. I want to start that fight. I want to. I want to start. I want it because that is my. I don't know what it is in me. I think I have a little white trash in me, but I want to know how I hold up. Yeah. I want to know the feeling of hitting from fa- like fist to skin. I want to feel that Do rush. It. And I don't, but I'm so scared of getting hit back. I think oh, I won't be able biggest, to handle My biggest thing that I like, why I don't get in fights, because I don't want a lawsuit. Oh. And that's why I don't teeth. get in fights. I never, and, and teeth. I can't have these pop out. I know, guys get in fights so much, and I and it never seems permanent no, no, on that. No, he didn't get that from getting hit, did you? No, I got this from being poor. But, um, oh, you got but, baptized in Mountain Dew. <laughs> we, just about, we just didn't go to the dentist. Go, in the name of Snap, Crackle, Pop. 
<laughs> I Wait. love my fake teeth. Yeah. But, uh, how, how many do you have? I have a bridge. So I have three in the front are fake. But now I've been like smoking so much pot that I can't tell if they're loose or if like I'm um, just feeling a foreign object in my body. So I'm always like stoned being like, I can't tell if they're loose or not. Or I'm like, because it's <gasps> not my actual teeth. So you it, can't. It feels... is, it the, is it the one where you, they take your teeth out and they put the little screws in and then they screw no, so in? No, so that is what, those don't fall out really. These are like, I have little baby teeth between them and there's one tooth that was completely missing and so it's a bridge so they're all connected, these three. And so they, they come out as a unit. So they have fallen out and they fell out last fall, okay? And let me tell you something. Where did they fall out? I yeah, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about water picks and I was like, I have a water pick, I should use it. Pull out the water pick, slam, the bridge falls out. I'm missing three teeth. I'm a waitress and I, I, have I, a waitress. <laughs> and, I and you know, do stand up, so it's like and then I'm missing half my teeth. It looks really bad. Wait, I feel like you would get <laughs> more tips. Oh no. I wore a mask. <laughs> really? No, if I, they fell out again, I'd be like, we're, I'd be like, I believe in COVID. No, you would, would, you up, I would you stand up with no teeth? Or you, I, you, on stand up, I would, but yeah. like walking down the street, honey, I'm trying to find a man. Okay. Oh, that's three such of my a good teeth. point. Yeah. If, <laughs> no, I think that the the more that you look like you do meth, people give you less <laughs> money. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's, that's so little, disrespectful. <laughs> it's hard though. Yeah, it's kind. Of, well, there's a fine line between hipster and meth these yeah. days. Okay. Right. Hipsters are kind of teeth, out though, don't thing. you think? Aren't we? Ba- we're back to kind of bro season. God, yes. I love You're that. so right. But bros, bros now, uh, it's a little bit of like um, metro bro. I like it. It's it's you know we went to hipsters because everyone was like, oh these guys are cool and they're just as bad. And it's so funny. I was like, ugh, Metro bro. I'm literally wearing a f- backwards hat and face full of makeup. We're gay. Yes. We're gay. <laughs> We're gay but bros. I think I think it is. It's bro culture that kind of wants to be gay. That's I, what it is right now, the right? Bros have really accepted the gays into. I've never, I never expected, especially to live in Texas and have all straight male friends, and it's incredible. Yeah, they. It's almost like they're like, um, kind of jealous. I think they wish that we, they could have sex the way we do. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that it's like, is this, and Jimmy you, is straight. So Jimmy, you're straight we, right you now? You can confirm what I'm saying. Yeah. You are? I'm married. There's like, there's like this sense of like adrenaline where it's like, I can never feel as free as they are. Do you kind of <laughs> feel know? like that, Jimmy? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know, like free in the sense of like, I just could fuck anything. Or do you, or like yeah. maybe the free in the sense that like you know how like well, how we we clip things up on this podcast saying like really disgusting sexual things that we do yeah and would you feel free with your parents seeing that my parents do see that yeah but it's us saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> his sister, yeah, I, his sister yeah. was a fan and then goes he's like yeah I'm on that fucking she had podcast. no idea I talked to my dad I talked to my dad a little yesterday and he was like he was like I just found your podcast yeah and I was like oh he goes he goes. Learning a lot about my son. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, and you know what? And my dad's the best. He's like a small town guy. He's like, uh, and whatever it takes, Dylan. Say whatever you fucking want. And I'm on here being like, I'm getting face fucked by bisexual men. <laughs> and my dad is like, say it, King. <laughs> yes. Preach. Yes. Yeah. Dude, there is a freeing thing about being like, once you dive in, I'm diving it's in. It's there. It's like, I'm, Dad, I don't want to tell you. I suck cock. Yeah. yeah. Because your dad's like, it, well, I, maybe there's a thing about like with a woman, you're like you have to be a little bit more um, chivalrous. Yeah, yeah. With a woman, but if it's another dude, no victims. We always yeah, talk also, about that being like we would want to have sex with a woman. Oh, I guess. Uh, what's that noise? I think it's I your know. dad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, my dad's here. Um, <laughs> no, we because we always talk about we would have sex with a woman, and I think the thing that stops me from wanting to have sex with a woman is the thought of having to be there emotionally for her in any situation. You and you do have to. I right? hate. I I'm gonna be honest. Okay, if it's a one night stand, no, no yeah, emotions, yeah. whatever. After two times of hooking up, as much as like you even want to lie to yourself and be like nothing, I don't have any emotions. I I don't have any connections that. You do. Yeah. I think it's like a woman's like um, anatomy, something yeah. in you that like you there's like there's little like emotional hooks that your body like 
hooks onto and you can't get away from it. I think also just having to come out is like and telling your grandma I'm gay with the implication of I get fucking railed in my ass and she just has to be like, we still love you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's yes. like, what am I going to say? Like, I've, I told my grandma I like to get butt fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, and there's no, what, what else? Am, like, what else is what other barrier do I have to hop over? I was like, I already did it. Do you think you're, you think your grandma knows what that means? Butt fucked. Yeah, does she? When you say I'm gay, she's not just she like knows. seeing you holding hands with another man. Honey, who's holding hands? No one's held my hand. I in just years. for whatever reason I see like me telling my grandma, like my brother telling my grandma I was gay. It's just th- that my grandma has like. In Wait. her mind, the nativity scene changes, and it's just like a guy dressed as Mary on a donkey, and oh, then yeah. also Joseph carrying a man on a donkey. Like it's and still. And then the, the three dainty. wise men are drag queens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they try to ruin America. They just. I, I, I know you don't really care about this, but maybe you do. What? Uh, Russia just made uh, the LGBT movement a terrorist group. What else did they call them? Okay. Uh, I'm just no. like, could, could they be the any more powerful now? Yeah, that is true. That's wow. wild. Is that so, wild? So Russia does not like gay. They never have, yeah. though. They haven't? They've no. never been like, like gay is cool. They've but always I feel been like, like bad. Putin's kind of. Well, homo, like, I don't know, I think. Oh, they're definitely homoerotic. He, yeah. he w- rides shirtless on a horse. That's not gay. That's not gay. That's actually that's not gay at all. <laughs> in fact, that's straight. That's straight bisexual. Can I, maybe. Yeah. Can I'm putting I that in my debate mouth. that? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. You can yeah. debate anything. Okay. Yeah. Any man who is bouncing naked, kind of gay. Wait, but you're it's a horse gay. girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you break your hymen on the horse and then was like, oh my god, I didn't lose my virginity? Um, I wanted to. That was the thing. I won't, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I that's tried. why you're p- putting that on Putin, where he's bouncing. I don't he's know. He's literally, bouncing. he's literally a man who's who's. I mean, that you're bouncing so on gay. a horse. He's not kind of half naked. Oh, and you're kind of doing that when you're bouncing on the horse. Yeah, you're kind of being, I'm like, I feel a little slutty. And you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a little bit <laughs> slutty. My ass is popping back up. I'm like, okay. I'll get yeah. Fun. Also, <laughs> you're, also, you're getting bounced. Yeah, Can yeah. we say that you are yeah. receiving the bounce? You're not For giving sure. the bounce. I don't think yeah. he's bouncing. I think he's like riding. Oh. <laughs> Gay! <laughs> oh, gay! <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, whatever. I guess he can, he can still put it in. I think, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but he's for a you? giver. For me? Yeah. Do I, what I, do is, I think is Putin, he Putin's too hot? hot? Is, is, is Putin too hot for you? You know what? Yeah, he's kind, yeah, he's pretty hot. Yes, yeah. he's kind. Dude, he's got a good bod. He's a great body. Can we be? I mean, I'm more of a Kim Jong Un. I, you know, I, no. <laughs> Chubby that's Chaser. Crazy. Yeah, I'm more. What? That's more my speed, probably. You would get with Kim Jong Un? Knowing myself, no. Okay, I would, guys. I, I, here, the snap of a finger, I'd say Putin all the way. But if I know myself yeah. and I'm out, we're out in Tokyo, having the three of us having a good time. <laughs> Wait, why is he in Tokyo? He's not allowed in Tokyo. I don't know. Tokyo. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just giving us a scene. Okay. We're all okay. undercover, all oh, of okay. us. And um, I would probably like if it's like a wild Tuesday, I'm probably going home with Kim Jong Un before I, Putin. Well, actually, if we're all in the outfit, I'd love to be um, Jennifer Garner and Alias, and just like, ooh, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> in like a really slutty outfit and a red wig, being like, oh, here I am, with like, Kim Jong Un, <laughs> 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 and Catherine, and they're about to have sex. Yeah, and you're like, Catherine, you don't even need to go this far. I'm like, no, 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 I gotta do more research. By the way, that literally is Alias because you're with a world leader, and yeah, that's so fun. If if you if you know the fly out is like, hey baby, come, I'm a fly you out the fly out to Putin would be like he's like you don't understand I have to work all the time yes I'll see you later have fun in the room or pool or whatever but Kim Jong-un would be like I'm taking you on the train yes. <laughs> we're gonna go see the a whole fucking country and yeah. he's like gonna show you North Korea right, right, right and he's like I'll never take my eyes off of you yeah. <laughs> everyone don't you read don't 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 read anything don't you know, look really don't talk to, to anybody <gasps> yeah you, you would be so good in the handmaid's tale me, I could really see you there. I know, cause I I love to be told what to do. Yeah. Oh, you do. I actually just meant like yeah. the TV show. Like I could see you doing well on the TV. Oh, show. sorry. Yeah, that but too. Also- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was confused you. what you meant too. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I go. Can we get there already? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this bitch is tired of thinking for herself. Fuck! <laughs> I have a head for a ball. I've always said that. I got a great bonnet size oh, head. You yeah. do have the bangs for a bonnet. I know. I've, I've, I used to have a joke about it. 
I'm like, I'm like, dude, you know, you, 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 you go to college, you have ambitions and then you get out of college and you're ready to work and then you start working and you realize how shit it is. And then you have that one friend who like kind of marries a rich guy and has a baby soon and she's just chilling and you're like, yeah, no, I, I could wear a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could do that life. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Fuck this nine to five. His, yeah. his TikTok feed is trad wives. Me? Yeah. Oh, What's in, trad wives? I've got traditional wives. I've gotten my Instagram to be... <laughs> like my, Little House on the Prayer? You know, my entire Instagram is all Republican, conservative, Christian content of like women <laughs> dressing more godly at the gym and like being good wives to their husbands. And I've never been happy. I watched. You know what? Wait, are yoga, Dil- wait, are yoga <gasps> pants godly? No. Dylan wants to be Pookie. He wants yeah. to, yeah. I love to be Pookie. I became who I'm here with Pookie. I, like my man. With my man bringing me all over the Dude, country my with f- my big ass eyes. <laughs> Call me Pookie, bitch. I mean, Pookie. Like, Can I do yeah. my favorite Pookie moments is when. Wait, wait, who's Pookie? You don't uh, know. Oh, okay. Colin doesn't know pop well, culture. So this, like, I don't think you get. <laughs> no, Whatever. This, this is like you, rich people culture. But that's. This, I, it's. Yeah. It's on TikTok. He's yeah. huge. So it's this rich guy who has like this wife that's kind of like soulless when you look at her, but he just buys she, her nice things and brings her on amazing. vacation. The best thing is like they literally. This is what they got popular off of is they would go on the tick. They would front face camera right, and she'd be like, "Okay, well, it's a date night. I'm wearing Lulu with my Chelsea purse and my da 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 jeans, right?" And then he would be like, "Pookie, you look absolutely fire tonight." And then she would fake laugh. Her fake laugh at his jokes are, that's my favorite. I could do a compilation of just that. Can you imitate the fake laugh? This is the fake laugh. She goes. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of, you know, the the moment someone steps on your toe, Uh but then you don't scream. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. It's that. (laughs) Their love will outlast all of us. Yes. I I do believe they will Uh last together forever. Because do you want to know what they're in love with? Money. Money. And, and, and attention and attention and they're getting both yeah they're i mean i she and then so he'll go on and he's like obviously i have my page jeans on and my lacoste boots or Luke casey boots or whatever he's always wearing the same thing can yeah. we call him out on that I know, he, is he all it was like it's the same brand every time he, he, he loves her so much he loves her so he's much he's always like pookie you look absolutely fire tonight and so she you, is yeah <laughs> thank you baby she's yeah. way beyond him <laughs> well she has those crazy eyes where they're like bulging out where she's like thank you baby yes. it's really crazy she's got a little bit of a um, purse dog look yeah yeah like the dog mm, not the woman carrying the, p- the dog the pug yes She's yes. pug eyes. Come she's on, pug say eyes. it. Say it. She's got. <laughs> she does have pug. She has pug eyes. Uh, Who doesn't love pugs? I know. I like. I, I don't. have no. Eye. When I smile, I not. it is. There's no eyes in there. So I. I like. I like big eyeballs. Oh, who am I to judge on anybody's character whatsoever? Character. You know what I've realized, and I. Uh, I'm like, no, not character. I can do that. I meant looks. But um, <laughs> you can. You can. Thank you, you so can. much. You're but there. You know what I realized? <laughs> like, I thought about this the other oh, day. Oh, I always forget. Whenever you do that, I'm, I'm supposed to say no, but I kind of just get uncomfortable and say nothing. What do you mean? But what? <laughs> you go, oh, oh, I, uh, who am I to judge people for their looks, implying that you're fucking a hideous oh. beast. <laughs> and I'm supposed to say, no, no, you're not, Dylan. No, actually, but I, I, I just get uncomfortable way, and I kind of go. If you said no, if you, way, <laughs> if you said no, no, you're not, I would be like, be like well, now you're through in the fact. Just don't comment on it. You know what I mean? I'm going to say it regardless. But, um... I did realize the other day that I smile. The reason, the way I smile, is like Lauren Conrad because I remember. What's that? Do you, do you ever watch The Hills? Yes, but I can't, I can't remember. Her. Is it like a very soft smile? Well, she said that her smile goes straight side to side, not straight, not like they don't go like up, like you know, mine goes straight. Do, do it. <laughs> oh my God, you're so right. It doesn't go up, and just like Lauren Conrad's, but she always goes like this. She sticks. She, she does. She gives it. Like, she'll be like. Oh, does she do the thing where I used to do that where it's almost like her tongue is trying to escape out of her front yes. teeth? Yeah, it's kind of that, that was the look in the early 2000s. But I have all like spaces in my teeth, so it looks and like an underbite, so it looks awful. I'm always like, oh, I'm it Lauren. looks like you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, um, no, do you have a little bit of spam in your teeth? Yeah, There's yeah, a little, yeah. um, you got a little Vienna sausage in your smile. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I brought that up. It's a gum. Wait, so, so is it like the smile? Because I used to do this in, in high school where it's like, or you like bite a little bit? Like, is it because you're trying to? 
almost bring out your neck or your jaw a little bit. That actually would be smart. I think in my mind, I think I'm being like silly. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, yeah. I went to, I was a, a kid model and I went to this class one time what? and there was this <laughs> fucking, just, for, just for follow, what? it doesn't matter. One time just, can, I just, okay, please, I have <laughs> can I just tell the story? I have a further question about this because I've always wanted to know about like catalog models. Uh -huh. like, what, who, who models for Sears? Is that what you were modeling for? Sears? Like, no, I did like runway like oh. kid running. <laughs> no, what a creepy. No, I'm happy for you. No, no one time. It, was, it was weird. And I don't know who was watching that being like, yeah, my kid would look fucking great in those pants. <laughs> yeah. Like, who was it for? Did, I don't I know. I, when we were taking pictures one time for the podcast, I called him and was like, like getting really and I was like you look like Brooke Shields like it, he, it looks so crazy and I was like how did you learn to do this he was like it was my first job <laughs> I, was, I was like my first job was at Papa Gino's yeah 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 <laughs> I had to earn my dentist appointment <laughs> well the there was a there was a some like lesson or whatever and the lady was always like everyone has to find their smile my smile is when I put my uh, top teeth on my bottom lip <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember. That being was like, your look. No, that was her look, and yeah, I just remember it. being like, "This bitch is bad at this." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got a fart. <laughs> no, you're pushing. It's resting. Oh, like rest. Yeah. Oh, this is. This, <laughs> this is like Southern woman. Southern woman is holding is holding back. Bless your heart. Bless your heart, sweetheart. You're from the south, though, right? Yeah. Kind of. Yes, not kind of. It, I'm yeah. from Kentucky. I'm from Louisville. But then South Carolina for school and then almost 10 years like in Georgia. Italian? I didn't. Yeah. I, I was Louisville, which is more... Kentucky? Yeah. That's My the college the town, town, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Heather Shaw lives there with her lawyer girlfriend. How and far? Louisville? Wife, I think. How far was it? I I marriage is a bit... Vague. <laughs> yeah. with, who, with, with gay. I don't understand why. Yeah. Gay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but how far away is that from Elizabethtown? Have you seen that? E Town. Uh, how far away is E Town? I think it's like two hours. One of the best movie? movies ever. Made. Orlando Bloom. Oh, one of the best movies. And, and Kirsten Dunst. Dunst. Yeah. I forget what it's about. She, she does. Yeah. Kirsten what? Dunst does. Her and Justin Jesse Plemons live in Austin. Did you ever find, think it was weird that Orlando Bloom ended up with Katy Perry? I hate it actually. Because and his big uncut cock. He has an uncut cock? Yeah, you guys didn't see the pictures? On the surfboard? Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. of course. Okay. Jimmy, really? Why did you not react when I said, yeah, he <laughs> See, that makes it... <laughs> you just, like, acted like I, no one had seen it in here. Like, I, he, yeah. Well, he, he was an elf for so long. Do you think he's 21 in that movie? He was Lord of the Rings, he's 21. He was an elf for so he long. He was an elf. I, <laughs> that was his first I just want him to end up with like a fairy girl. I want him to end up with a Kirsten Dunst or like a, a little blonde... Um, little dandelion, but he ended up but, with Katy Perry. Like, uh, Katie she's Perry. literally like, uh, like a human version of a spiky choker collar. Like, like, you know what I mean? She is. But remember, Elizabeth Swan was wasn't a fairy. Who's Elizabeth Swan? Who was Elizabeth Swan? <laughs> From, From Pirates? Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's the one thing together. that I know my reference. Wait, Kira Knightley? <laughs> yeah, and Orlando Bloom should have ended up together. Paula. Yeah. Paula. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I bring it up all the time, but when we were, when I was in sixth grade, I saw that movie and Kirsten or what's her name? Kira Knightley cuts her hand open with yes. the blood, and I did that because I saw it in the movie, and I was like. Shh. In like sixth grade, I remember being like, "Oh no!" Oh. And I remember thinking like, "Oh my god, how would I?" Exp I had to like hide it from my dad because like, how am I gonna explain? Wait, to you my did dad? it like by yourself in your room? Yeah, because I was like reenacting the movie. Wait, it wasn't even like a party trick. No, 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 no it was alone, and I, it was, <laughs> <laughs> she looked so beautiful when she did it. I just wanted to like be like that too, and so I was like. <laughs> And I remember afterwards immediately being like, how am I going to explain this to my dad? Like, I saw Kieran Knightley cut her hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut mine open. Bad. And I got away with it. I never had to explain it, thank God. My dad would have not been okay with that. They were like, are you, are you sad? Are you hurting yeah. yourself? You're like, I, 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 I want to be Kieran Knightley. I go, oh, it really did hurt. Yeah. Because it was a knife. <laughs> How was, you like, did you have to get stitches? No, no, no. I didn't cut it. I, I obviously I tried to do it, and it was like, oh, whoa. I was yeah, trying yeah, yeah, to yeah, earn yeah. my Boy Scout badge, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you imagine? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was so, it a butter knife? No, but um, I think I like held. Do you have knife a scar? And, what? No. Okay. I don't think I went that deep. Okay. Yeah. But I remember like, there being like a bloodline. Did you, what did you think? Did you think like, like Orlando Bloom was gonna 
appear? No, I just like used to like wear like. <laughs> he I used was to in wear, sixth like, grade, so that's crazy. <laughs> <if you did. laughs> no, I might have been. I might have even been. That is way fit. too I, old. I I, I had no, I had thoughts home. like this. Okay, you were put a, a witch pin back in, then too. <laughs> what I said, you were a witch back then. I too. will say that ever since I was a little kid, even when I was like a kid, 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 my, uh, my family was like, we're Catholic, and I remember just thinking like. I'm a witch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm Catholic. I, mean, I don't know yeah, what yeah, y'all are yeah, crazy. Yeah, you guys might be, yeah. but I'm not. I've been like obsessed with, yeah, ever since I could talk, I've been like, I'm a witch. I, I, <laughs> I remember this, I started doing voodoo as a kid when I, I had a crush, and I think I read this in like a Cosmopolitan magazine, which is insane that the it was in that. Do you remember when like they would, like, you're like, like you're like 17 and you're reading, and yeah, you they're to, like, like, put a thing around it. You, oh my, <laughs> close, so close. I mean, you remember like, you remember you would read the sex um, articles yeah, when you're and quizzes. it would be like put put an ice cube in your mouth and you suck a duck. inside their earlobe oh. and then let it drip down into their cervix and then drip that ice cube down into their butthole region and you're like 16 and you're like okay 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 I haven't fingered anybody yet but uh, <laughs> I'll try the fucking ice cube um, but there was one thing that was like if you have a crush um when you go to bed at night, close your eyes and imagine walking out of your door and then walking into their door and opening up their bedroom and climbing into bed with them at night. And I, I did that like every single night about my crush. Over and then did you and change over. crushes and have to change them like but door? Did you, did you get your crush? Yeah. Yeah. He ended up being I, a crush I on me. Think no, he, yeah, he ended up being, and then when he, once he had a crush on me, I was over him. Yeah. But I, I swear to God that voodoo worked. Why did that, oh, oh. no. You yes, don't. Did. <laughs> no, I it did. didn't. You think I, he was just like she won't? She no, no. Won't you just stop. thought about him a lot, and you probably when you saw him went like. He probably, and I was just in, always in staring at him in my English yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then middle school is like, oh, I think she likes me. Then I like her too. Like that is how no, that works. I, I know it's like path of least resistance, kind of osmosis. Or yeah. there's like energy, and I feel like when you do things like that, you are kind of cultivating a type of energy that you're putting out into the world, regardless. And life is all energy, you know. So yeah, it you think is. so? I agree. Which I, I no, I really do think I'm like I've like masturbated about people, and then all of a sudden <gasps> I like had sex with them. You're like. That was crazy. Really? Yeah. I kind of want to do that with my <laughs> career. No. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, who? I'm on Grinder. So you went. On, you went on the grid. You went. Hey, oh, nice, hey, nice, hey, nice, I had nice. A pass <laughs> I you. you what? I had a pass before I met you. A pass? <laughs> yeah, where I used to masturbate about people and then have sex with them. Okay. <laughs> oh, a pass. A pass. Okay. Did you? Like, I had a hall pass. I was like, I don't. You. You could still do that. No, if you no, want. no. I know. <laughs> Just, I know. What? The, did you whoa. ever? Was it? Did you ever do somebody that was like you were like. No, by no means this will ever happen. Like this is so far beyond my league. But you would you would masturbate to him, and then eventually it happened. I don't know about like my league, but there have been situations where you're like, I never would have thought this would have happened, and then about the exact situation, you know, where you're like, this is just kind of what happens. I'm being vague, but guys, should I start envisioning Kim, Kim Jong Un, and then <laughs> and then I change the world? Like, he falls in love with me. You're immediately going to move to North Korea and be like, I hate America. <laughs> <laughs> you are like, I can feel it. I You're make it worse. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I go, like, well, we weren't going to get nuked until yeah, Kevin yeah. I go, okay, hear me out, but the bonnets are going to have patterns, <laughs> yeah. okay? And you get to pick. You can have you silk. all of your, like, Korean, like, henchwomen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start a girl band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're like, I'm allowed to do Asian voice. I married a Kim Jong Un. I'm married. I'm an Un now. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Mrs. Un. un. So I'm great. I'm Un Uno. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, do you have any? Gay oh, friends? I'd like to see that wedding. Was Un is the loneliest mm. number. That's yes. not a love song. Never mind. That's one. Well, of the it one. is when you're with Kim Jong Un. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have any gay friends? And is your brother hot? Oh, wait, is your brother gay, or did you were given we a hypothetical? Made, okay. Did I say my brother was gay? You did say that. You when? said your brother had to come out to your grandma. grandma. Oh, so you're just a liar. Oh, I think I was saying envisioning. Like, oh. my grandma, my, 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 no, I was just saying my family's so innocent. Like, she would, they're so Catholic and innocent. Like, if, if, like, one of my brother, my brothers or my, my cousins told my grandma she was gay, she would just be like, it, she would just, her envisions of gay would just be like, a guy on the donkey is married of instead course. of, but they, she would never put together butt sex. Gotcha. Meaning gay. Your brother's not gay. She's smart. She's a smart cookie. She'd do it. You think? Yeah. She'd, wait, she'd eventually be like, so how do they? <laughs> Whoa. I think so. I mean, she had 10 kids, so she probably, what? actually. She had yeah. 10 kids. She definitely knows. And what one of those kids are gay. Yes, that's the odds. That's the odds. That's the odds. There's, There's no way you have 10 straight kids. 
I mean, you can't even have four straight kids. Maybe. <laughs> my, I know my parents. Can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I one of my aunts. No, I don't think any of them. That's kind of crazy. No. Somebody, but but the, but our the cousins. We've some gay cousins. Oh great. Like my you know like the third generation. Yeah. Yeah great. No one of those tennis done something. Yeah. Wait. I have like, I have over sixty cousins on Whoa. one side. That's crazy. Yeah. So. Wait, but is your brother hot? And how old is he? No. Oh. What? I have two. I ugly. can't they're, believe that. I know you're so that pretty. I don't believe that you're going to have ugly brothers. I do brothers. not believe that you are related to anyone ugly. I agree. I think That's you're so a nice. Thank you. hot family. Um, no, my dad is horrendous. <laughs> horrendous. You, I know people say like a thumb, but like he's a, th- he's a th- hum. Uh-huh. He is a th- Thumb. Like he knows it though. Yeah, but I don't talk to him, so it's okay if I can diss oh, him. Oh, good, good, But good. he is he is horrendous. Almost to the point where like I was kind of embarrassed oh. to like introduce people to him. God, what? you're gonna be so attractive when you're older too. I, can, I feel like yeah, I'm just like are. I can't wait to grow you, up. Oh, you're gonna be. I'm one of those 30. Hot I'm 33, guys. and I'm just like I can't wait to be a man. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna be like. Do you think you'll always have long hair? No. Do you want me to? Should, should I? I love the long hair. <laughs> I do. I love it on you. Oh, yeah? And, and like, this isn't, I, my life changed when I bought another woman's hair and sewed it onto That's my not skull. Your hair? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, your this hair? is from India. Um, <laughs> this is from India. And now I am complete. I, I just got hair extensions. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Yeah. Um, yes. I just got them and I'm not shy about it. No, if I was a girl, I'd have hair extensions. I, I don't know why I didn't get this this sooner. How long do they stay in? I, I, Are they I don't in? have a brush right now. My brush is in is in Laser's car. So so just know I haven't brushed my hair in like 20... That's fine. Don't... It, it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. But do you see them? Car. Oh, yeah. Do you want to see them? Yeah. They look great. <laughs> They're sewn <laughs> you wanna in, see huh? them? You want to see my tracks? They last about it's, a month. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah, you do get them. And then you have to get up. them either re-sewn in, or you have to get new ones. Ugh. It's all. It's I. Um, Girls will do anything but grow their hair out. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't Literally care do anymore. Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what I say. I just start twirling this hair. Yeah, it looks incredible, and it looks so natural. Oh, thank you. It yeah. doesn't. Nothing matters anymore. Yeah. Well, I can get wait, away. Did, why did you do it for the length? Yeah, and like, and I had twelve strands of hair. Mm. And like, if I didn't shower for three days, it just looked flat. My you, my scalp was exposed. It was disgusting. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was a horrendous beast. Yeah, I started looking like my dad. And then, <sighs> and then I bought another woman's hair and put it in my head. It and looks incredible. I feel unstoppable now. It's amazing what do hair. Do you think there's is. women? What? Do you know that? Do, is it? Do they gender your hair? This is like, did you have an option for an Indian man's hair? God, <laughs> I would pay extra for that. Why? Because it's thicker. Yeah. Right. And and I think I would like some male DNA <laughs> getting into my body. Make you smarter. Make me smarter. Thought it was gonna get a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Only reason I said it. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You said it. And oh, you thought it was a joke, line. but then I go, <laughs> <laughs> I go, what? I'm not misogynist, but I'll say it if I think people are gonna laugh. <laughs> and then they don't laugh. I and genuinely go, was oh, so great. serious yeah, about yeah, it. I think, I think <laughs> women are stupid. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was going off of her reaction, and she kind of just went, "Yeah." No, I because I was so being so genuine. I do think, I don't think guys are smarter, but I think guys um, are more problem solvers. Uh, yeah, and I this this is gonna sound so bad, but I noticed that guys um are just brought up, raised to talk about more diverse subjects than women. Well, they're encouraged to talk about, and women are encouraged to talk about men and dating and relationships. Yes. And so, and I was friends with women my entire life, so I have a hard time not immediately doing that with people. Is, yeah. And because I'll go right for how are you feeling? And men don't talk about how they're feeling, they talk yes. about what's going on. So, like, I have a straight friend who was like, stop asking how my day was. He goes, you're not allowed to ask me how my day is, and you can't ask me about how I'm doing emotionally. And I was like, okay. And now we just talk about other things, and it's so nice to not have to deep dive into like. Uh, really I had to make that rule with day. Chip, yeah, because I go, hey, if something in my day was worth talking about, I'll tell you. That's straight. otherwise, don't fucking ask me. Well, and then you guys just want to talk about like statistics and I facts. Lo- I love it. And then I they have a good that. time, and then. 
Yeah, and you can live your whole life, you know, drowning in your sorrows, you know, and they have yeah. no idea and they have no true connection to their friendships realizing that, like, no, they, you know, a, man, a, a man's best friend would, like, kill himself and they'd be like, I had no idea he was going through anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, but, but sometimes on a day-to-day, you don't want to talk about it. I, I would love, I so agree with you. Like, I love, um... I wish there was like a happy medium. I like I do like talking about feelings and having deep conversations and I I hate small talk. I do like like to sit down with somebody and I love when I sit down with somebody and within the first couple minutes they're like, "No, really, how are you doing?" And we like actually have a genuine conversation about how much we hate cutting up stand-up clips and yeah. posting it every week. But then but then I hate like always talking about where did you get that top? Where do you that kind of shit over and over again. I'm like Give me some, give me some facts or yeah. something. Like I do, I do like a, a male conversation, a bro conversation sometimes about something. Well, I like, never know. I, I never think knew you're supposed about. to have Ask a different friend for all these things. Yeah. You what? Ask me where I got this top. Where'd you do that top? Obviously Target. I have 400 of them. Uh, it's the only shirt I wear. Move on, bitch. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're supposed to have different types of friends that you can have different types of conversations. I think that most people are kind of like limiting and they make their world really small and then they get married and that's the only other person that they talk to. And then they drive each other crazy and they're like, you're the problem. It's like, no, no, just like have two friends. Have, have different friends that you talk about different shit with. Yeah. yeah. Like interesting actual shit with agreed i just think sometimes it's not a women hating thing it's just like yeah we gotta start having more broad conversations it's not natural it's just how women are raised socially uh, yes. to talk about about that's it's not even like it's not like a you know i don't want to be a gay guy talking about biology but it's not bio you know what i mean it's not biology it's just socially right yeah Very also much. i think sometimes women will think that men's conversations are like small talk like you said but it's like they're getting really into these specific yeah. you know, things yeah. like when they're talking football it might seem stupid but it's like it means everything yeah. you're right 100 percent. Right. it's like a little word puzzle but it's a conversation and you're like hey maybe we could figure this out if we talk about it i actually just realized as you were saying that that whenever i'm hanging out with my husband's friends and they want to talk about comedy. I'm like, no, no, you guys aren't my comedy talk. I'm not yeah. here. I don't. You, you guys that's are like the, you're, you're just like mentoring instead of having a real genuine conversation about comedy. Right. I won't have a conversation if I ask. If I will not have conversations with comedy unless you do comedy. Uh, honestly, mm-hmm. unless you do stand up, I can't talk about comedy. Unless I ask you who your favorite comedian is and you give me good answers. It, yeah. I, and if you were just giving me Netflix special people, I I can't talk to you about it. Yeah. Right. I, it is. It is. I, that is my litmus test. I go That's who, like and then song. they go like, oh, I love Jim Gaffigan. I go still. He hasn't put out anything in a while. Like, what's happening? Or, or my favorite is, but like, I love female comics. Who's your favorite? Oh, um, I love Tina Fey. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she's not a uh, I it's, love her hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love. <laughs> Her hour. <laughs> oh my god, do you remember her Comedy Central hour yeah, from no, the it's, 90s? It's crazy. Well, yeah. this podcast only has two segments. Um, and so the first one It's Where'd You Get That Top? <laughs> yeah, where'd you get that top? It's actually, um, do you have any questions for us? Our first segment is called Do You Have Any Questions for Us? Yes, I have. Yes, I have questions. Okay. Um, um, you don't have to. You don't no, have to I want either. one. Okay, I want one. Yeah, yeah, I, I like one. that she's looking like, no, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the world's ending, and you three are together. Okay. And here, and the world is out there zombieing. In here? Yeah, and you're like, and food is running short, and you're like, all right, we have to kill one of us to eat, to mm-hmm. survive. Who are you guys going to kill <laughs> and eat? I'm f- Fortunately, I think the obvious answer is Jimmy, but I think that we would I think that we would then go, who's gonna do the stuff? And then I'm gonna go and I'd probably go like, kill me. I don't like I don't like to do stuff anyway. I really also see us being like, what if we like went outside and saw for ourselves? Is there is zombies or what's going on? I don't Oh think. well, you're just like not even trusting the no, whole I think we would, we would be like, I think we yeah, would out I think that like, we would then be like, I bet there's three other people and we can eat them. Yeah, we were, we're a band. Yeah, okay, we stayed, yeah. Wow. We stayed, yeah, wow, you avoided it. Sure. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay. Well, the answer, <laughs> you're, you're all the answer is Jimmy. Your answer is Jimmy, but we, <laughs> we couldn't 
do that. Yeah. yeah. So we would have to find another solution because the uh, the most obvious answer is one of us. Kill, yeah. <laughs> kill it, eat him, honey. He bruises the whole thing. <laughs> we, can't even make, we can't even make he a press. <laughs> I, I don't know. I also don't think I would want to be in a zombie apocalypse. I'd probably just yeah. go out. I, I also said s- that. I said, I don't want to, I don't want to survive that then. Sucks. I walk outside, I put tahini around my butthole and I have, I go have <laughs> yeah. at it. I actually think I'd make it. Okay. But so, um, then our last segment, <laughs> mm, the last, that was a good question though. Yeah, it was great. That was a great You're question. So smart. Thank you. You're so Thank smart. You. Thank you so much. And your hair looks great. Yeah, yes. I'm a boy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm an Indian man. Yeah. Uh, the last question is: If you were a gay man, sure. Would you rather have sex with me or Dylan? I'm bottoming. He's topping. We both love oral. But, oh, okay. The oral was going to be the number one. Okay, your body bottoming. Your topping. Mm-hmm. Um, I would I I want to peg somebody so bad. Okay. Yeah, it's a very common female answer. Yeah, yeah. is it really? Yeah, to be like I want to be the one who fucks. I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, women are always yes. like I want to fucking rail a man. Yeah, I want to, I want to peg so bad. I've Wait, never pegged, no one, but no I want. No one's letting you peg. So, I think there's some aggression in me that I need to get out. I want to punch a bitch and I want to peg a bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you go for yeah. runs? I think I need to go. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I've been scootering too much. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to start running. Yeah. So I'll go, I'll go. Whoever whoever will receive, I would like to get it. Oh, great, great, cool. great, great, yeah. great. Well, right. looks like we're we're doing it. Um, do you have anything coming up that you want to plug or you talking about? Um, yeah. I uh, so I'm recording my special in Houston on Friday on the 29th. Ooh, nice. So yeah. So it'll come out. You know, in the next one to eleven months. Amazing. Where are you doing it? In Houston at the Riot. I at love the Riot. Riot. I love it's it. a great room. I love it. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So excited. Great. Great. I'm sure it's going to be great. Follow Catherine. She's so funny. And follow us and like and subscribe. And Go to comment. our YouTube. Comment. You guys are lo- where I see on the Instagram. And, and we love the DMs. That's fun. But yeah. like a comment would mean a lot more. Start a fight in the comments. That actually helps a lot for oh. the algo. It's all controversy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to clip up you saying some crazy please, shit. Please. Please. <laughs> please. I, I, don't, I don't care. Make yeah. me look like a beast. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Make me look like a villain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Villains are thriving right oh, now. Oh, we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.